Meghan Markle and Prince Harry moved away from London in the summer in the pursuit of security and privacy, a new documentary has revealed. Meghan married Harry last year, and gave birth to their son Archie Harris in Mountbatten, Windsor in May. Royal insiders had hoped the newlyweds would become firm friends with Harry's brother, Prince William, and his wife, Kate Middleton. The four of them lived together on the Kensington Palace estate at the beginning of Meghan and Harry's marriage, but they abruptly moved out earlier this year with little explanation. Rumors of a rift then progressed as the Fab Four subsequently split their charity work. Meghan became a patron of William, Harry and Kate's trust, the royal foundation upon marrying the Duke of Sussex. However, Meghan and Harry soon decided they wanted to set up their own foundation, yet another way the two royal couples seem to have drifted. Yet, in 2019 Channel 4 documentary, Royal Reporter Roy Nickha revealed another alleged reason for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's sudden move to the countryside. She said, when the newlyweds drove to their wedding reception at Frogmore, we had no idea of the significance of the location. A year later, it's become Sussex HQ and the place they've chosen to raise Archie. When I heard about the move to Windsor it made perfect sense. This is the location that has the two things I know matter most to Harry and Meghan, security and privacy. When Archie was born, Harry and Meghan said they were intending to raise him as a private citizen and started off by not giving him a title and retreating to the countryside. Prince William's children on the other hand are known as Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, as they are in the direct line of succession. In the documentary, royal biographer Penny Jr. said, Harry is a very private person, and really gets agitated about his lack of privacy. About the invasion of his private life. Majesty magazine editor Ringrid Seward added, The great sadness is that Harry loathes the media and he probably quite rightly blames them for the untimely death of his mother. He sees it as if she hadn't been chased by photographers on motorbikes, then the accident she'd been killed in would never have happened. This was not the first time the royal couple had showed interest in the more suburban area, close to the Queen's Windsor Castle. Harry and Meghan's wedding should have indicated the pair were not intending to stick too closely to royal traditions. The royal couple incorporated her African-American heritage into the ceremony. Ems Jr. said, I'm sure Windsor Castle and St. George's Chapel have never seen anything like it before. I thought it was a terrific blend of Meghan's past, her culture, her birthplace and Harry's royal past. The old and the new mixing just beautifully. Their wedding was them. Ems Nick added, the statement of intent was clear, Harry and Meghan were going to do things their way. She also pointed out that the Sussex brand was born after the Queen gave her grandson a dukedom on his wedding day. From that title has come the name of their Instagram account and their new charity, Royal Sussex. The Sussex family are now on a 10-day tour in Southern Africa, which some believe may be an attempt to turn their foundation into an international organization. It is Archie's first tour and he made his second public appearance yesterday, greeted by Archbishop Desmond Tutu, renowned anti-apartheid activist.